Hello and welcome to our first Instagram Live from Breast Cancer Care. I'm Rachel, I'm one of the nurse specialists here and I'm joined by... I'm Jane, I'm one of the nurse specialists here as well. So thank you for all for joining us today. We thought it'd be really good to look at physical activity now that we're starting in the new year and everybody's talking about uh, getting back to exercise, continuing exercise, um, starting something new and there are lots and lots of mm. New Year's resolutions yes. which are made unbroken very quickly and we just thought it'd be good today for us to try to talk you through some of the ways that, that we know can be helpful for people mm. who are going through treatment or have um, had treatment and want to get back to exercise. So why be physically active? Yeah. So, um, thank you Rachel. So yeah, whether you're primary breast cancer or if you've got a secondary breast cancer, be physically active. Mood, it can help with mental well-being. We know it can help manage side effects, particularly things like fatigue, which is really hard because if you are feeling really fatigued, the last thing you do feel like doing is being more phys physically active. But there is a way of, of making uh, that possible and that can improve uh, fatigue levels. Levels of fatigue can be improved. It's just, just a very small amount of moderate exercise. Um, so there's lots of reasons. It's good for our overall health, physical and mental well-being. Yeah, really, really, really good for mood. <coughs> the paradox sometimes is, though, Jane, I know that we talk to lots of people on the helpline, mm -hmm. is that when you're feeling down, when you're fatigued, yeah. when you're tired, you're going through treatment, the last thing you want to do yeah. Is get out there mm. and do some exercise. So just thinking about some ways that we might be able to help people to think about maybe exercise in a different way. Yeah. Not about getting your gym stuff on. No. And and doing going to an exercise class and things like that. No. But something that can be very very simple, like going for a brisk walk. Yeah. So so really subtle changes. This is about helping people find ways for themselves to incorporate some like I say, subtle changes into their daily routine, if mm. possible, that might actually make a difference to how they feel physically and mentally. And it's about, we often all start the new year with good intentions and we don't always, you know, it might last for a little while, um, and we don't always maintain that, um, whatever the changes that we're, we're trying to make to our, our lives. But if we can think of some, like I say, small ways of, of introducing physical activity mm. and making sure it's manageable and realistic and you're able to continue with that physical activity for the rest of the year um, and not just for January, like yeah. it's so easily <laughs> done. <laughs> Absolutely. And what we know is that, I mean, the um, Department of Health suggests uh, 150 minutes yeah. a week. So 150 minutes of moderate exercise, mm. intensity exercise. So what does that mean? You know, people, we, we, we have these terms, moderate intensity exercise, but what what is moderate intensity? Do you want to explain? I mean, it's, cer it's certainly, it's about getting slightly breathless, but so you can still talk, which is always good if you're out for a walk with someone. Mm -hmm. um, it's about getting your heart rate up, breathing faster, so that you're getting your heart moving and your muscles moving and lots of oxygen into your body. Mm. And when we're talking about 150 minutes in a week, that can feel completely and utterly yeah. daunting. Unachievable. Yeah. So what we would suggest is that you do something that you can find is achievable mm -hmm. in your week so that you can add something in. And that might be something as simple as 10 minutes a day. Yeah. Just get, yeah. getting some comfortable shoes on, pair of trainers if you've got them, whatever it is that you find comfortable, mm. and walking round the block Walking somewhere um, and making it slightly faster and more um, moderately paced mm. Mm. over the days and just adding that in day on day. Yeah, so it's not about having to start at 150 minutes. It's, it's if you can build up to that. So like you say, Rachel, if people are tired or if they've got side effects of treatment, that, mm. that really, the thought of it completely can put people off. But if you can think about increasing it gradually, whether you say like you do one more round a block or a, a lap of a yeah. small park one day um, and then a couple of days later and, and you might do that for a week or two weeks or three and then you just increase as and when you're able to I think the important thing with, with exercise and physical activity is that it is achievable that it is affordable yes absolutely. Um, and you find the, your own thing that works for you mm. so you can buddy up with a friend that might be really helpful but it's also important to have your own 
goals, your own expectations and to not measure yourself by what other people are yes. doing or not doing. Yeah. Or what other people expect of you. Mm. Because if you're not going to do it for yourself mm. and something that you know is manageable for you, you're not going to continue, be able to continue no. No. with it. So things, just thinking about exercise, right from brisk walking to yoga, Pilates, they're really good for strengthening yeah. and balance, which is, which is very, very important. Mm. Even, Even gardening and oh, housework, yeah. I mean, that's all physical dance. activity, dancing, anything. Yeah. It's all, it's about moving your body more and, and getting that heart rate up slightly. Yeah. So there's lots of different things that, that can be incorporated. It doesn't mean, like you say, joining the gym or, yeah. or running. Although that will be right oh, for something. Yeah, absolutely. Joining yeah. the gym and, and doing mm. treks and challenges um, are absolutely the goal for some people. And, yeah. and, and that can be achieved. But... You have to be realistic about what's what's right for you. And sometimes a challenge <coughs> can be what spurs you on. Mm. That maybe signing up for that five k run. Yeah. Walk. Yeah. Our River, River walk. walks here yeah. at Breast Cancer Care. You might think, right? I'm going to get a friend to come and do this with me. Yeah. It's something I've always wanted to do, and it is doable. Mm. It People is. do do it. Um, yeah. And it is possible. So having a goal. Yeah. Can sometimes be really yeah. helpful, and that's where things like apps. Yes. You use apps. Um, something like I'm just thinking of one off the top of my head that I use quite a lot. It's called Pacer. Mm. It's a free app. You can load it onto your phone, and it measures the number of steps you do a day. Yeah. And you can set your goal as small as you want, mm. a thousand steps a day, and work up work to. Up. I mean, the uh, goal for most people is 10,000 a day which is quite hard to do mm, mm. but you'll be surprised just even walking up and down the stairs at home around yeah. the house doing your daily yeah. jobs I mean you'll find I don't know if you've come across apps that you like yeah so one I use is called map my walk and it, it actually if you set it for your the start of your walk it will um, have how many calories burn if that's important it will have um, it will actually map your walk, funnily enough, um, and it, it becomes more meaningful. You can actually see where you've gone and the, the steps that you've taken. It will, it will actually track um, the, the loop that you've done. And it, it does, it's much more rewarding to see something visually, or oh, I've just Definitely. done this. Definitely. Um, and that's another you know, free app. Um, there's also things like My Fitness Pal, mm. which is very good. Um, and the NHS have got quite a good oh, range of information oh, about this. Just to say to everybody who's just joining us and has joined us recently, we're, we're talking about getting back to exercise or restarting exercise um, whilst you're on treatment for breast cancer, mm. whilst um, you might have finished treatment for breast cancer and you want to get moving again and just thinking about the new year and, and maybe getting some exercise mm. into your day and how you can do this, often in a very simple way. And you might not even realise that you are exercising already. Yeah. You're just talking about the NHS um, website. Yes, yes, and that which is again completely free, and it's a you've got a variety of ways of mm. um, looking at fitness and moving more and incorporating different things into your daily routine. Yeah. Um, things like couch to 5k, which some people might have heard of, and again, it's not that you have to be running 5k in a set period of time or at all, but it's about finding the little thing that will spur you on or motivate you. Like you say, it might be an event, it might be a challenge, it might be a, a party that you're going to, and it, to have those goals can really help. Um, but certainly, like there's a lot of apps that are um, free yeah. that can, can assist in that process. I mean, it's probably important to say as well that if you are on treatment or you've had, for example, something like reconstruction or you've got secondary breast cancer, just talking to your um, mm, breast team. care nurse, clinical team, just to get advice about what you can and can't do at the point mm. that you're at at the moment is, is also quite important so that you're not going to overstretch, yeah. overstrain, overwork a particular yeah. part of your body. And we were talking about, I've just, just come to me, side effects of treatment. Yeah. I'm just thinking about um, joints and mm. strengthening joints. Mm. I mean, something, as we've talked a lot about walking, but brisk walking and strengthening, even cycling on a uh, bike. Treadmill, on a, yeah, yeah, exercise bike. Yeah. 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 In either the gym or you might have one at home. 
um, they often work really well as close mm. stands, I find. But um, yeah. yeah, so doing using those to strengthen up your your quads, the really big muscles in the tops of your legs will strengthen your knees up and, and really help those joints. Particularly mm. when you're on something like a rimadex, we get lots of calls about yeah, that. Yeah, when people are on aromatase inhibitors, it can mm. really impact uh, on someone's quality of life if they're having joint problems and joint pain. So building strength, building muscle mm. that support the bones can be really really helpful. Mm. And as well as the the, uh, the breast care team at like your hospital, if you're still under the, the care of the hospital, mm. the GP, your yeah. practice nurse, and even we were talking earlier about pharmacy yes. um, having um, exercise information, yeah. haven't they? So you don't have to make an appointment to your GP, no. you can pop into your local pharmacist. They and might this have is some. about accessing free, mm. um, free support mm. for exercise, and certainly the NHS um, website that we were just talking about, that mm. has access to free gym membership and um, also to work out of YouTube. YouTube's brilliant. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really good for bite-size exercise. Yeah, and you, sorry, yeah. <laughs> lots of yoga on, mm. on YouTube, some really good yoga mm. um, sessions from sort of five, 10 minutes up to sort of a 45 minute and working different parts of your body. Yeah. Um, so yeah, YouTube is very good. Mm. But just to say, you need to just, you're starting something new, particularly yoga, Pilates, those types of things, in fact. Um, yeah, so our Vita magazine comes out three times a year. This is completely free, so I don't know if you um, subscribe to this, but if you want to do call our helpline, I'll give the, we'll give the number at the end. So this features things like, um, on this session, it's uh, your guide, yoga and Pilates guide, uh, and that has a range of, uh, the, the magazine has all different information about health and wellbeing. So if you wanted to receive that free three times a year, do give us a call. Yeah, so I was, what I was just about to say was that if you're starting something new, just take it really slowly and make sure you've got support of mm. an expert. Um, if you can, if you're going to go to a Pilates class mm. or a yoga class, make sure you let them know what kind of treatment yeah. you've had so that they can tailor the, the care the for care you. For you. Yeah. Yeah. And we do have specific sort of uh, information on so things like exercises after breast surgery. So this is about improving your range of movement. Um, so this is available as well. We have information about bone health, which contains information about physical activity and lymphedema, Rachel. So we've got information yeah. also about lymphedema and how um, exercising can help uh, the lymphatic system and reduce the risk mm. of developing lymphedema. Yeah, so really, again, really, really important um, point that um, by exercising, which um, I know uh, for many years we told people not to exercise. Yeah, to rest. and It's now completely um, turned on its head and, and to move your limb and exercise mm. um, along with weight management is, is very important yeah. if you have developed um, lymphedema, but also if you're trying to reduce your risk. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, and although we know that rest is important as well, it's, it's about getting the balance right. Mm. Um, and I think what we would, we're hoping to achieve from today is just to give you some bite-sized tips of, of what you perhaps can think about to make uh, physical activity mm. more appealing, to make it uh, more achievable, yeah. um, and being kind to yourself, really. Absolutely. Not Most being definitely. Yeah, because it's about you. It's about what you can do. Mm. And that might be something very small at the moment, but it's all important. Mm. It's all a start. And you will keep it going if, you take it slowly yeah. and and don't I suppose it's about when you set that goal for yourself, don't be don't be um, annoyed with yourself if you can't achieve that no, goal no. today. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. To yeah. And I think some people think because they can't perhaps do hundred and fifty minutes of exercise or physical activity a week, then mm -hmm. Then there's there's no point. And it's understandable we can be quite demoralising to be constantly told of you know people suggesting these different things. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you can't do 150, you know, do 50. Something is better than nothing. Absolutely. So any amount of movement is is good. So that's probably our biggest top tip, mm. isn't it? Make it manageable. Do something that you enjoy. If you're going to be walking or running, make sure you've got a really good pair of shoes, mm. trainers, um, to wear that are comfortable because that will spur you on to, to do more. Yeah, yeah. And if you want a goal, um, there are lots of goals um, to be achieved out there, mm -hmm. and it might be, as we've said before, you might want to join one of our Pink Ribbon Walks, and you can log on to our website and find information about that, should mm. you want to. You 
going to say about our helpline as well? Yeah, so if you, you've got any questions about anything we've talked about today, if you want any of our literature, any of our information, call our helpline on 0808 800 6000. We're there now to take your call. We're there till four today. If you ring when we're closed, we'll always try and ring you back. So, so do make use of the helpline. Yeah. And it'd be really, what would be really good to know is um, we, we hope to be live every week and it'd be good to know what kind of topics you'd like us to cover um, yeah, so that, so that we can yeah, get, get in touch with us and let us know. And, and if, you're, if you follow our Facebook Lives, um, we have next week on Thursday um, uh, Ravneet, who's coming from the Royal Marsden, to talk about diet, and she's an expert in diet after cancer. So um, do tune in for that. I think it's going to be a really, really interesting session. Mm. Thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you.